uh, hello friends today we will uh, study about block diagram of digital communication that is also the basics of digital communication so let's start discussing about it okay so today we will study digital communication basics now uh, to start any communication we first have to see its block diagrams right what are the blocks which are involved in a particular technique so let's look at its block diagram now the first block for a digital communication is information source information source now this information source can be both analog information source or digital information source analog information source means this is a source which generate analog messages and if it is a digital information source it will it will uh, generate digital signals uh, so even if we have a analog information source we first have to convert it to digital by using an analog to digital converter now so basically information source are divided into two parts first part is analog source and second is digital information source okay Uh, then this the messages which are generated by the information source is passed through a source encoder source encoder now uh, let's take an example and uh, with using example it will be very easy to understand stand what source encoder does okay so let us take an example uh, let's assume that my information source it generates a message and it generates four symbols example this generate four symbols a b c d these are the four symbol which are generated by the information source now information source are generating four discrete symbols therefore information source is digital information source right so it is generating four symbols that is a b c d this four symbols are my messages now what source encoder will do it will try to convert the messages which are generated by information source to a bit means it will try to convert the messages into some bits like for example here there are four symbols right so what i can do source encoder can do it can convert a to 00 b to 01 c to 10 and d to 11 now this is the work of source encoder it converts the messages which are generated by the information source to some stream of bits now then this the output of source encoder is my bits and then this is passed through A channel encoder. Uh, now, in uh, in channel encoder, we try to add some redundant bits, and by adding those redundant bits, it will actually help in receiving side to detect it properly. Because when my messages when it uh, flows through the channel, the messages will go through a channel, right? and if there is some error in the channel uh, then the parity bits which i am adding the extra bits which i am adding in channel encoder will help me to detect at the receiving side so that is why we use a channel encoder now at output of channel encoder there will be some redundant bits and then we will pass it now one example of uh, channel encoder is repetition codes okay so repetition codes means repeating every bit either twice or thrice or any time you can repeat so for example let us take 
my channel encoder uh, has repetition codes okay so in repetition code what i will do i will make zero repeat two times let us take three times and i will make one repeat one 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 times three times actually three times okay so then output of channel encoder will be a will be equal to here it is zero so zero 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 again zero 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 b will be zero 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 one 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 c will be one 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 zero 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 and d will be one 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 now the output of channel encoder is this the uh, funda of channel encoder is to add some redundant bits which will help at the receiver side to decode it properly now this is passed through a channel right and then again it is at the receiver side this full part is transmitter side and now i am drawing the receiver side at uh, receiver uh, side we have channel decoder then again source decoder and destination where the signal should be received so this is a basic block diagram of digital communication now what does channel decoder does right so uh, see my passing the symbols through the channel it is possible that some error can happen that means uh, any bit can flip adding an error in a bit means zero can turn to one or one can turn to zero that is the error we can have in a binary data right so let's assume that after passing through channel at uh, the input of channel decoder i received signal like this okay so this is what i received at the input of channel decoder now you can see uh, that in a symbol a two symbols got flipped this got flipped and this got flipped similarly some bits got flipped now how will channel decode it so see what we will do as we have used repetition codes we will see the maximum number of bits which are present so uh, see in a Uh, at the output of channel decoder how we, i will detect so here it is 001 so 0 is repeating two times in this three bits right so i will decode it as 0 here also 0 is repeating two times in a bit in a three bit stream so again i will uh, decode it as 0 and b here again Zero is repeating two times, so zero. Here one is there, so one. Similarly, C will be one, zero, and D will be one one. Right? This is what you transmitted, and uh, this is the input to source decoder. And then at the output of source decoder, you will get A, B, C, D. So that was the. log diagram of digital communication now we will see the importance of channel encoder okay so importance of channel decoder encoder importance of channel encoder now let us assume my information source is generating two symbols okay it is generating a b 
and uh, this information source is passed through a source encoder now as information source it is generating a b let us assume i am sending the information as a b these are individual but i am sending this as a, a message okay my message is a b so what source encoder will do source encoder will convert a to 0 and b to 1 right now see if we don't use a channel decoder encoder then we will then let's see what will happen okay so without using channel encoder so what message i am sending ab right so this ab uh, when it is converted uh, a is converted to 0 and b is converted to 1 and output of source encoder i will get 0 1 that means my message is 0 1 simply 0 1 and it is not passing through channel encoder as we are not using any channel encoder this message is directly passing through channel now this passes through channel now at output of channel what i will get uh, see channel is something which is very unpredictable right channel can give you some error now let's assume that channel gave me some error and uh, your message 0 1 got flipped means 0 got flipped to 1 and 1 got flipped to 0 because of channel error because of some noise which was present in channel and it because of that channel your bits got flipped and uh, has bit got flipped we are not having any channel decoder also as we have not used any channel encoder this will go to source decoder now source decoder will again convert back now see this one zero it is coming right it will convert one to b and zero to a so this is what a source decoder will give me at the output so see what i transmitted i transmitted a b and my message was zero one but because of channel my bits got flipped one zero and out at the output of source decoder i got b a so is this the desired output no because i transmitted a b and i am getting b a which is not a desired output right so let's see using a channel encoder what difference we get if we use a channel encoder with channel encoder so again i am sending a b right this is passed through source encoder so at output i will get zero one now i am passing this through channel encoder now if i pass this through channel encoder in a channel encoder let us assume we are using repetition codes there are various codes but i am using a basic code that is repetition codes so in repetition code let us repeat zero three times and let us repeat one three times so at channel encoder i will get zero 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 one 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 zero is repeated three times one is repeated three times now what I will do, I will send this through channel. Now, see again, there is a possibility that some error occurs and my some of some of my bits got flipped. So, let us assume that my first bit got flipped, and here, uh, let us assume second got flipped. So this is what I am getting at the output of channel. Now this will flow through channel decoder right now see i can make a judgment here why because in this three bits zero is repeating two times so what i will design my channel decoder such that it will take whatever the maximum number of bits are there so here two times zero is there so it will decode it has zero and here two times one is there so it will decode it has one and this will pass through a source decoder and source decoder will convert back it back to symbols and that is a is converted to zero is converted to a and one is converted to b so i will get my desired message so see if you are not using 
um, channel encoder i am getting wrong message but when i am using channel encoder i am getting correct message so this is uh, this was only a basic example to show why channel encoder is necessary and why we should use it so again uh, repetition codes are only the simplest type of codes and it is not used they are not used now there are some other codes which gives a better performance like block codes and convolutional codes that we will discuss in upcoming lectures but the repetition codes are the basic codes and it helps us to understand why channel decoder is important so that is that is why i used repetition codes okay so uh, that's all for today's lecture and uh, the next we will see importance of source encoder and how and and how and in what way we encode uh, the input messages we will see in the next lecture also if uh, your information source is analog then you have to first convert it to digital digital using an analog to digital converter and uh, you know how to convert analog to digital you have to pass it through a sampler and then you have to quantize it and then again at the output of quantization you will get some levels and then that levels uh, are your actual uh, messages and then that uh, the levels will be discrete and then you can transmit through a channel so yeah this was the block diagram of digital communication techniques and this was the block diagram of digital communication and uh, also i explained you the importance of channel encoder in the next lecture we will see the importance of source encoder thank you for watching this video and uh, if this was useful kindly uh, like my channel and also subscribe it thank you